Good day everyone! Did you know that Christ have instituted seven sacraments in which he could be present to his people even after his ascension to heaven? Yes, he did. And these sacraments are also entrusted to the church so that the church could dispense them to the faithful ones. Interesting, right? But first, let me ask, what are the seven sacraments? The seven sacraments are the Baptism, Eucharist, Confirmation, Penance or Reconciliation, Anointing of the Sick, Matrimony, and Holy Orders. And among this, did you know that the Baptism is the most important sacrament in Christianity? Yes, it is. Baptism is an important sacrament because Jesus too was baptized. And after his resurrection, he told his disciples that they too should be baptized. Jesus also commanded his disciples to use the act of baptism to welcome new disciples into the church. Did you know that John the Baptist was the first Jew to use baptism to symbolize the forgiveness of sins? And it was John who baptized Jesus. Cool, right? Baptism is a religious ceremony that symbolizes purification and rebirth into a Christian life. Christians believe that baptizing cleanses people from original sin and marks a person's official entry into the church. To many Christians, baptism is an action of faith that shows we are obedient and committed in our walk with the Lord. As we end this topic and learnings about baptism, we should put in mind that baptism is a sacrament of faith since the one receiving baptism must have an active faith in God as revealed by Jesus Christ and have the intention, at least implicitly, of receiving the benefits and graces promised in the sacrament. And remember that as we get baptized, we receive the three specific gifts, such as the forgiveness of sins, faith in our Savior, and eternal life in heaven. Also, there are no age restrictions for baptism, and it can happen at any age. So what are we waiting for? Let's deepen our faith in God and get baptized. Bye! Thank you for watching!